From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. Three-dimensional printers are fast becoming everyday devices in the United States. 3D printers are used to make everything from automobile parts to bone replacements for people. American research scientists are now working on creating replacements for living tissue. Researchers at the Medical University of South Carolina have been working on creating and manufacturing living tissue since 2003. This process is called biofabrication. It requires special printing equipment and a special kind of ink. Traditional printers require ink to produce an image or design on a piece of paper. For their 3D printer, the South Carolina researchers prepare complex, nutritious solutions they call bio-inks. Bio-inks are made of proteins and glucose, substances which provide energy for most kinds of body cells. The researchers also add living cells taken from the animal that will receive the new printed tissue. The bio inks are then added to the so-called palmetto bio printer. The bio inks are placed in three containers inside the printer. Lasers control the position of the printing surface and the release of the bio ink. Michael Yost is a leader of the research team. He says the printing process is fully machine operated. He says the Palmetto bio printer makes it possible to create complex tissues. The researchers say they are still experimenting, but they hope in a few years, they may be able to print tissue to replace damaged human organs. There are concerns with biofabrication. Some scientists worry about how to get blood to the replacement tissue to keep it alive. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.